very brief tutorial of the 2990. Uh, I'm going to show basically how to power up a meter. Uh, the first thing is the main power switch is on the back here. There's a little toggle switch next to the AC outlet where you plug it in, turn it on, it's already on. And now you have the socket open. It is uh, automatically, once you turn the processor on, which is this button here, it turns on the program, the display comes up, takes a minute. There, now it's programming the, the VRMs, and now it is ready for operation. So the socket senses when a meter has been properly inserted. So just press it like this. It's detected. I can hear the motor closing the jaws. The light comes on when it is inserted. So now we have a proper insertion of the meter. Now we want to just do a manual drive screen to manually power the meter. This will show you that the amplifiers are working and the different voltages and currents. So it's a quick way to check calibration. So there are some presets for voltage current phase in here. So all I have to do is pick the form. It's a form 9. It automatically comes up with the form highlighted. I press 9. Boom, it's ready to go. So all I have to do now is press the bottom row generally is the functions that you have available. So you have a test screen you can enter from here, and you have the basic power on of this screen. So I press power on, and it comes up, it shows the three voltages, the three currents, its phases, the wattage, and the, and the power factor. So that basically shows you that this Form 9 meter has 120 volts more or less, 119.9 on all three stators, the three currents, the phase, which is zero, and the wattage. So everything looks good. So you probably would say, fine, this meter's powered up. It shows on the meter you have ABC, you have potential going in the right direction. So I would look at that and say, this meter is ready to go. Turn power off. Now we want to go to the test screen. You press test. And at this point, we don't have everything enabled, but we do have the accuracy test ready to go. Do you need the optical? And yes, I'll show that. Okay. So for accuracy, you press accuracy. Comes up in a test screen. Once again, form. First thing is the form 9. First thing to notice is you don't have all the options here because the KH has not been uh, yet entered in. So you want to use these arrow keys to go highlight the field to be entered. So if I press, there it highlights the KH. This is a 1.8 KH. Form 9, 2 and a half amps. Here you have all the different tests it'll do. I will uh, go over and when all the currents are enabled here, and I, I want to just select, for time reasons, just a full load test. So I'm going to press enter when it hits the power factor field, it'll deselect it. And if I press it again, it'll select it, bang again, it's deselected. And I also want to deselect the light load test there. So now you have the three tests, full load, power factor, Light load, only the power, only the full load is, is enabled. So when I press start test, before we do that, we need to hook up our photo sensor. There is a pulse align here, which does not start the test. It just basically puts full load power on here, and you can check that the, the power comes on and you get a pulse. So I'll do pulse align. Right now it is energizing the meter. We can look to see if we get a pulse. And when it does, the red light will light. And there's the pulse. Okay, so then we go back. We press enter, we'll go back. And we press the start, we'll start a test, and we'll do our full load test. So first it comes up stabilizing waveforms. Now it begins the test. It has a preset, actual counter, and the remaining count. So each time we get a pulse, you'll see the actual and the remaining change. Now one pulse has been counted. And it displays the current and the voltage and the accumulation of the watt hours as it does the test. And in a few seconds, we'll be done. One more pulse to go. There, we've done a test. This meter tested at 99.79 and there are various 
watts and bar hours are displayed, volt amps. So uh, there will be a save test, so it will create a file for each meter. There will be a save function here. Um, if you do several meters, you, if, if you do a full load, light load, power factor, you can scroll through them by hitting next and it will show that each test will have its own test screen. And then when you want to go back, and then when you want to exit to do something else, you just press cancel, it will take you back to the main screen. Now, next thing we want to do is disconnect test, so we'll, we'll be right back. We'll be right back.